I'm very excited to transform Olivia into Farrah Fawcett. Farrah is we're, my dream. We're gonna do this today. Ah! That's awesome. I love everything 70s right now, and it's always been a dream to be made up to look like Farrah Fawcett. Everybody knows Charlie's Angels, of course. They were like the first badass bitches, if I can say that. Today, we're reenacting a famous, iconic picture of Farrah Fawcett on a skateboard. Farrah had a lot of looks. This was the 70s, and you know, she was part of one of the most fashionable television shows that are, you know, still remembered till today. I'm just meeting Olivia for the first time today. She is 2012's Miss USA and also Miss Universe. I'm gonna start with just kind of adding some shimmer to your skin, because that's the idea. We want that kind of glowing, dewy. So, Love. Yeah. The makeup trends in the 70s were very, very particular. What we're doing today is kind of what I want to call like daytime disco. Makeup was reflective, it was all sort of shiny. The idea of dewy skin and cream blushes and just smears of like highlight across the lid. I'm just gonna go in the areas that I wanna highlight right at the top of the cheekbones. And the highlighting around the eyes was very on trend. That's what Even they did. Even under the eye? Especially. Really? What was it like to be in pageants? I never did them growing up. I did my first pageant when I was 18, and then I won Miss Universe when I was 20. I have always been interested in beauty and makeup. My favorite part of the 70s was probably the effortless look of the style. Today, with all the contouring and the fake eyelashes, you don't really see such a soft look. Now I'm applying just a touch of like this really faded pastel blue just onto the lids. That was a huge, huge trend in the 70s. All right, I'm taking just a little bit of liquid foundation. I'm gonna brush it over your brow so it fades them out a little bit, but we're gonna kind of make it easier for you to wear a blonde wig without it being so prominent. Let's add a little bit of warm tones to you. Let me that bronzy California tan. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a nude color. It's not really an overly drawn lip. All right, just a little That's bit of kind of a bubblegum pink. Girls did not leave the house without gloss in their back pocket and a mascara. I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara through your lashes, kind of separate them. It was very normal for women to apply their mascara and then take a needle and separate it with like a safety pin. Oh yeah, I've been there. Are you ready to put on some feathered blonde hair? Totally. All right. Who doesn't love big hair? She had big hair, and I think a lot of that was because of the flip and because of the short layers. Now I'm just kind of take a brush and start feathering it back. You gotta make them look like you got wings on your head, you know? But this it's is- It's weird looking down and seeing blonde hair. Are you ready? Okay, <laughs> ready and go. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah. Love it. Ah! There you are. <laughs> You're Farrah today. Love it. Where's my board? Oh my gosh, it's here. Okay. Honestly, I don't really care if I fall on my butt, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Farrah was the ideal commercial model. She was California, she was healthy, she was accessible, and uh, that's probably what made her most iconic. Yes, now relax a second. all the yes, all the yes. There's very, very little contour in this makeup. It's really just about texture, about making it glow. It's almost kind of a J-Lo look to relate it to today. Yay! Oh, thank you so much. Ooh. Hashtag Woo. throwback Thursday. TBT, y'all. TBT.